everyone, Will Yard and Sales Survivalist here with my uh, part two of my video, my Mega Pick Weekend. Um, you know, maybe I should uh, give stuff away more often. Uh, maybe this is karma uh, coming back uh, to me uh, for giving away that uh, popcorn. Um, but like I said before, really happy with how the weekend turned out and uh, got some more nice stuff to show you. Uh, let's get started. Went out to uh, the flea market, and I couldn't believe it. This was at the second flea market I go to, and uh, this whole thing was sitting out there, and recognized it right away from the lines as uh, Haywood Wakefield. I didn't even have to uh, didn't even have to ask the guy uh, what it was. Or, um, I figured I didn't even have to flip the chair over to look. I knew what it was. Um, so I figured I'd play it cool. I didn't want him to see me flip a chair over and look at it and uh, then ask him a price. So I just came right out, asked him how much. He said $40 for the whole set. And so uh, I told him, make it 30 and I'll back my truck up and uh take it away from him and uh, he said go ahead back my truck up he'd take 30. so i got four chairs dining room table uh two leaves for the table and a nice buffet and all haywood wakefield this is uh the wheat color very nice uh mid-century modern well made really did quality stuff it's sit, sitting a little bit off at an angle here that's why the uh, cabinet's a little tight so I got $30 into it and, and I think the way I'm going to sell it is I'm going to sell the table, the leaves and the chairs in one lot and I'm going to do the buffet in another uh, hopefully the same person will take the entire lot but uh, I figure these chairs are worth 75 a piece so that's three hundred dollars right there the table has a few finish issues but uh, um, with the two leaves uh, I'm thinking two to three hundred there so all together I'm gonna put this on eBay local pickup only uh, $600 or best offer and then the buffet I think I might put that on there for $500 or best offer so potentially I could be looking at uh, turning $30 into $1,100 uh, with this uh, with this fine loan so uh, it may take a while uh, but uh, I can wait. I'm a patient man. Uh, Mid-century modern stuff like this is uh, really, really hot right now. Look at the legs on this thing. It's just got some cool lines. Uh, so I loaded this stuff up and asked the guy. I said, "Would you clean a clean a house out or something?" He said, "No." He said uh, he drove by, and this was all stuff people were cleaning out a house. And this was all stuff they were throwing away and he just pulled his truck up and just loaded it up and that's why he didn't care what he got for it he saw it all as clear profit um, it's a big mistake people make um, they, can't, they just look at it and see what they got into it not for what it could be really worth well there are not a whole lot of these were sitting out there and how many people walked by this set this morning um, not knowing what probably didn't have any idea what Haywood Wakefield is but uh, really happy with this find some big bulky items but uh, it's going to turn into a, a nice payday I think for me from the same guy for five bucks 
I bought this light uh, lamp. Not lamp. Well, it is kind of a lamp. These sides light up. I uh, got the clock in the center. Haven't tried plugging it in, um, but it's really cool looking. Another mid-century modern piece. Uh, definitely looks at home on uh, on this uh, Haywood Wakefield. Uh, hopefully it works. If it works, you know that might be a hundred dollar uh, clock right there. Um, might put it in my store. Eh, who knows? Maybe a hundred and fifty if I get carried away. I'm in no no hurry to uh, sell it, so it's one of those things. I'll just uh, put in my store and uh, I'll put it up on my shelf and uh, in the meantime enjoy looking at it. It's just uh, needs a little cleaning. But the neat looking piece. Nice uh, bookcase. Uh, somebody's replaced the uh, glass with plexiglass. It's got the... Uh, they didn't take the paper off. Um, so I gotta go through take the paper off of that. Um, it's not an old piece, but it is. You can tell it's not particle board or uh, veneer. A nice, uh, nice piece of solid oak. Uh, let me keep that for myself. Put in the, put in my room or uh, my one son. He's getting himself a bunch of uh, collections together. I don't know where he gets that from. Um, so uh, I might put that in my son's room so uh, you can have a place to store it. Got a really nice old baseball. I mean, look at this thing. Um, Paid 15 for it, but it's just got a lot of character to it. Um, definitely been around a while. Took kind of a chance on it. Uh, what does it say? Babe? Something? No, I'm kidding. Doesn't say anything on there. Oh, look who's come to uh, visit. Uh, don't jump. Uh, uh. You're going to break something. Come on. Come here. Always looking to make trouble. I just uh, sowed some seed over that way, some grass seed. And uh, they've been eating it all up, haven't you, boy? Yeah. You too, huh? little guy. Um. Track cars, slot cars. I got uh, 17 AFX Tyco uh, Aurora uh, racing sets, cars. Um, I've done really well with these in the past. Have a little bag here for the uh, engines and all. Uh, some really neat stuff. Love the uh, little motorcycle guy. Uh, for the motorcycle racing uh, a couple tracks, but where the money's at is the cars um, Paid 25 for this entire lot I'm gonna sell the uh, Cars on eBay. I don't know if I'll do one lot or two, but uh, like I said, I've always done well with the cars uh, We'll see how that goes all it takes is one good one uh, in the bunch Got a uh, Colonel Sanders bobbin head. Uh, he's been around a while. This is the old type bobbin head, and not the newer ones. Paid ten dollars for him. Haven't looked him up. Should be easy to find. Uh, love the old, the old style bobbin heads. Uh, tennis racket. Marked uh, Pancho Gonzalez. Uh, unfortunately, he's had his uh, picture scratched out. Uh, but that was two dollars. Just took a chance on it. Uh, we'll see how that goes. A uh, piece of Hager pottery. Uh, donkey. Not really. It's slowly gaining in collectability. Nothing really great. I uh, liked it because it still had the sticker on it. Paid nine for that. Uh, Might have overpaid for that. Got a whole box of. Uh, Harley and Yamaha stuff. 
there's a uh, Yamaha headlamp I don't know what's Harley what's Yamaha um, that's pretty neat but ten bucks for the whole box um, probably get more than that just for that uh, nice headlamp there it's a nice piece here um, so we'll see how that goes took a chance can't go wrong ten bucks for the whole box got a big box of tubes for the uh, radio tubes these are all brand new in the box some of these go for good money uh, it should be easy to look up see what they go for and uh, let's see what I can get for them uh, but uh, saw these this morning and uh, did a quick count it's like uh, eight across the bottom nine uh, and nine up so roughly 72 so I asked the guy how much he wanted 40 I walked away from him then I started thinking well 40 you know that's uh, 72 of them here so a little more than just a little more than 50 cents a piece uh, some of these tubes can be worth uh, pretty good money so uh, and being brand new in a box um, somebody into restoring radios or something uh, took a chance and uh, hope I I don't think I'm gonna lose any money but uh, I think I'll do well uh, so I end up buying them for 40 but uh, we'll see how that goes a really nice Western belt marked um, wage sterling overlay and the buckle is uh, also marked wage uh, sterling um, it marked Al uh, Braze USA so nice belt got some uh, really well made got Indian head nickel there uh, cool piece only ten dollars worth a lot more than that just in silver uh, nice little Linux face uh, five bucks not that great a deal but a nice little piece neat little uh, coffee grinder um, you know there was a time when every household had one of these it's pretty neat because it's kind of a small size a little unusual dated on the bottom 1936 um, just a cool little piece I think I'll make some money on that uh, definitely some room for profit there uh, I love uh, blacksmith items uh, my great grandfather was a blacksmith uh, so here's a forged hook and a little uh, hinge as somebody's turned into a candle holder uh, 50 cents a piece for those kind of like them this is neat got a uh, Gen Air um, burner set brand new in a box that was five bucks um, that should bring about 75 and also a Gen Air uh, rotisserie got to clean it up looks like it was used once got to clean it up get it all back in the right spot and uh, that should bring about 40 Gen Air is a good name expensive stuff and got a uh, Tokyo 1964 Olympics medal uh, souvenir uh, and all of these lighters here I paid twenty five dollars for the metal and all the lighters nice camel lighter Winston Salem uh, USN reg, reg stay arm guard center uh, United States of America, a nice little Zippo. Dated XII 12. Uh, that's pretty new. Musical lighter. Uh, I wind it up there, but it doesn't play. Um, pretty neat here. Board. 
did that because I'm left hand, uh, right handed. Uh, it's new, but made in Italy. Nice little switchblade. I paid uh, 20 bucks for all these. Got an old time, straight old timer. Nice old pocket knife there. Seen better days. This one too, seen better days. Uh, little girl, porcelain doll. Uh, made in Japan. Somebody's put her string to, on her arms. I think I might try to string her back together. Uh, use a uh, rubber band. Hook it through here, then hook it there, and that should hopefully pull that back together. Uh, see how that works. Uh, she was five. Uh, took a chance on her being a uh, uh, just a made in Japan. Uh, so that's it. That's uh, everything uh, for the weekend. And thanks to everyone who uh, entered the uh, contest and uh, look for some more contests coming your way. Uh, so now, the work. Uh, Got to get this pictures taken and uh, get this stuff online. Um, on that library ladder and uh, this stuff here, I'm going to try on eBay for a change and do local pickup only. Um, see how that works. Um, and in addition to doing Craigslist. So uh, I'll give you an update and uh, hopefully have that selling real quick. So uh, till uh, next time, uh, this is Will the Yard Sales Survivalist. And uh, me and the chickens here. Uh, We'll see you next week. And uh, don't forget, go out there and do a little picking yourself.